Hello everyone, this is Prabhakaran, Assistant Professor Marai, PSNZ and right now I am going to take lecture about life saving appliances on board. So it is essential, most essential thing in ship that is actually safety is the most important concern. Uh, actually it involves three factors, what are all the factors let me say, the general outline then it will be better then after giving general outline, if you go inside, then that is that will give more crystal clear idea about what I am going to convey. So, uh, what are the three factors? First of all, it's human being as so. Then next ship. The third factor is the environment. So the safety is most important factors. So that's why uh, for a being an ship or in ship you, you should aware about this life saving appliances so that is going to save your life so that is the most important thing so let me explain about uh, if it is in like life saving appliance what are the life saving appliances on board actually present in ship there are categories are there so what are the categories let me explain first so lsa means that is life saving appliances that is simply that is abbreviated form of LSI is abbreviated form of life saving appliances. So it will it will be categorized as general life saving appliances, personal life saving appliances, and distress signaling equipment. So we are categorizing this what for the purpose of our easy understanding purpose. So it is like and we are segregating that also because uh, it is not uh, only about uh, life saving appliances and we need to do maintenance also that's why we are segregating this so uh, let me tell about general life saving appliances what are the general life saving appliances on board so that is first one is survival craft if you see survival craft that is the two types are there that is one kind is life raft and life boat both should be there on board because Mm, that both having different different purposes so uh, then we will go to the second one that is line throwing apparatus so the, the third one is breathing apparatus so in case of an emergency if any fire broke out that time we need to have this what are the two kind of uh, breathing apparatus available on board sir EABD and then SCAVA EABD means emergency escape breathing device and the second one is kava self contained air breathing apparatus so this two have a separate purpose first of all let me give an outline then we will go for everything all the life saving appliances in brief manner so first of all i will out outline it. then we will come into that next personal lsa the personal life saving appliances are personal means that is for a person that is for an individual so that is starts with life boy and then life jacket and then tpa tpa means thermal protective aid and then immersion shoe and then anti exposure shoot so the after that distress signal equipment why this is and what is distress distress means if you are in a dangerous situation that time what are the equipments available to save our life that is actually present on board that are all uh, comes under this digital signaling equipment what are the those that is first one is epip epip means emergency position indicating radio beacon then the second one is sat search and rescue transponder and the third one is gmdss global maritime distress safety system and the another one is pyrotechnics it's a fireworks and then it's a general alarm and PA system. PA means public and public address system. So this is what uh, we are uh, general outline about life saving appliances. So let me let us briefly see what are all those life saving appliances with certain diagrams then it will give you a more idea about uh, let me show you personal life saving appliances. Okay. So that is life boy. If you see first one, that is life boy. It will make you float, float on the water, and then self igniting light. If you see the second one, and then self activating smoke signal. What is? What do you mean by self over here? It will automatically ignite. It will. 
it will so the light will get on and then activating smoke signal it will automatically activate the smoke signal so that is for our life saving purposes if you are in distress that time it will automatically do that purpose and then rigid life jacket and then inflatable jacket inflatable life jacket then this is life jacket light in the life jacket whatever we are having in that life jacket that life jacket is having it will be having this light it will be attached to this life jacket and then immersion suit and then anti exposure suit and then thermal protective suit these are all the various personal life saving appliances which are available to save our life on board so the next one is so let me tell about discuss about uh, this life boys what are the, like let me briefly discuss about this uh, one of the personal life saving appliances that is life boy let us discuss and if you uh, if you see um, everything like uh, everything is systematic in shape like uh, you should, it is not like uh, okay let it be how much this much so that should be a, there is a uh, there is a regulator called IMO that is International Maritime Organization so they will be controlling this and under them there is a regulation called SOLAS regulation SOLAS what is SOLAS SOLAS means safety of life and sea so they will be uh, providing us rules and regulation regarding our life saving appliances how much like uh, what is the uh, regulation for uh, what is the minimum capacity or how, how much it should be like for example um, how many life boys in your ship and its location because uh, why this question arise that uh, because uh, if that should be some uh, if suppose uh, if in a ship 20 persons are there how many ships how many life boys it should be there because it should accommodate everyone in the time of distress everybody have to save their own life so that's what so and you should know the location in the ship because uh, without uh, knowing location how will you use in the day in the distress time so that's what solas regulation what solas is saying regarding this life boy carrying minimum capacity that is if the ship length if it is under 100 meter that ship should carry eight number of life boys and suppose if the ship is in between the length of 100 and 150 meter that ship should carry 10 numbers and if it is in between the length of 150 to 200 meter then that should be 12 numbers and above 200 meter there should be 14 numbers of life boys should be on board that is the solar regulation that is the, it is saying so what about the size so the inner diameter the inner diameter should be less should not be less than 400 mm or 16 inch and the outer diameter should not be more than 800 mm or 32 inch then what about the weight the total mass not be less than 2.5 kilogram not be more than 6 kilogram so it is in the range of 2.5 to 6 kilogram so that is upon the weight then made made this is made up of inherently buoyant material this is for buoyant like and then color internationally orange in color highly visible why orange color they are preferring it will be highly visible even and it will be stickered with retro reflective tape that will give a night vision if you if the distress happened in night time that time it should be visible whoever is searching and that is what i'm coming what are the accessories it is having that life boy is having that is retro reflective tape retro reflective material is a material which reflects in the opposite direction a beam of light directed on it that is what if you are in distress that time suppose if you are in water that time somebody is focusing light like searching for the person that time this retro reflective tape will give will give them the visibility that is what it is saying and then grab line grab line means this is grab line so the grab line its diameter not be less than 9.5 mm and length of the line not be less than four times the outer dia of the body in length so it must be secure at four equidistant distance space around the life boys this is what this is what four equidistant space 
so it is an other accessories as already i had mentioned already I told about this this is self igniting light this self igniting light will be there in present in that light boy so that is white in color capable of burning continuous and its luminous intensity intensity not be less than 2 candela having minimum 50 and maximum 70 flashes per minute for a period of 2 hour and operated battery time okay this is battery operated and by on life line non kinking type it is and they are not be less than 8 mm breaking strength not be less than 5 km and self activating smoke signal that is already we had seen in the earlier diagram and then capable of quick release from height of 30 meter see this self activating smoke signal is actually this an uh, we can release it from the top deck of the ship that is a bridge wing so uh, it will give a smoke signal for at least 15 minute the smoke color is orange during day day time they can utilize this for saving for giving attention to other uh, person who is going to who is searching for us and it is capable of supporting not less than 14.5 kg of iron in fresh water for a period of 24 hour it's a not sustained burning or continuously melting after being totally enveloped in a fire for a period of 2 second that should it should hold the fire it is be constructed with standard drop into the water from a height at which it is stored above the water line in the lightest sea going condition of 30 meter whichever is the greater see if you throw from certain height it should not get damaged that is what here we are mentioning and then marking is port of registry of ship that should be a marking in that life boy that is which port of registry of ship that should be mentioned in that life boy yes now coming to the life jacket see we are finished we are just seen about the life boy then we will come to life jacket and these are all the personal life saving appliances so if you see life jacket so and what are the regulation for it so let me raise a three questions from it how many life jackets in your ship and its your location and its type because life jacket we have seen two life jacket earlier so which type according to solas what are the markings on the life jacket and what should be marked on the life jacket and after wear life jacket what is the meaning of health this three questions will arise like this three questions we will solve so uh, first of all what solas is saying regarding this so what is the carrying minimum capacity each person on board must have its personal life jacket because this life jacket each and everybody should be having in this day in the time of distress everybody should wear the life jacket so yeah so according to solas every person on board should have if a if a ship having 30 people it should have 30 and then we have extra life jacket for the watch keeper watch keeper means whoever there is in the engine room and then whoever is there on uh, deck bridge so that also we should provide for them also and then five person extra life jacket at master station five person extra at master station or embarker station master station means which in the time of emergency where everybody is like gathering together in that place that is the master station so this is the carrying capacity and then type there are two types are the inflatable and rigid and then this is made up of non flammable material or uh, synthetic bio material color internationally orange in color highly visible that's a color orange is the color preferred one because it is highly visible to everyone and one it should be donning within one minute without any help from assistance because why this solas is saying this is a regulation we should not like uh, even every second is a matter in the time of distress we should don within one minute then only you can save your life so that that will make sense and then it should be comfortable to wear jump it is capable to allow jump from a height of at least 4.5 meter without any injury to jacket and personal so suppose if the ship is going to sink you have to jump out from the ship and it should be told if you jump it, it got tear away means what is the use of life jacket then so that is the purpose so it should not be a and by on sea it should not be reduced by more than 5% after 24 hours submerged in fresh water 
so what are the accessories what are the accessories will be there in the light jacket okay let me see um, retro reflective tape same retro reflective tape which we had discussed earlier non conducting bristle secure with lanyard it is having bristle and manual light igniting light manually we can ignite the light that is white in color capable of burning continuous its luminous intensity intensity not to be less than 0.75 candela and maximum 70 flashes per minute for a period of 8 hours so it shall not sustain burning or continuous melting after being totally enveloped in a fire for a period of 2 second if it is fully immersed in fire then also it should sustain without burning for 2 second that is the olas regulation and what all the markings will be there in the light jacket manufacturer name serial number date of manufacture weight capacity and font word printer then we have third question that is called help what is help heat escape lessening posture that is the posture which will reduce the amount of heat your body releases that posture will reduce the amount of heat reduction because once you are in water you will you will be your body will lose heat with the sea water so that's why that posture that is separate posture is the that is a help then we will discuss about immersion suit then the other uh, the fourth life saving appliances on board is immersion suit and same what is the solar circulation and how many immersion suit should be there what is the location what is hypothermia so what is immersion suit normally uh, so what is the uh, solar circulation regarding that what is the, how many should be in board each person on board must have its own personal immersion suit and same plus if watch keeper is that watch keeper also should be there they will provide it and then types insulated and then uninsulated and then bearing with light jacket and have we have sufficient buoyancy okay then made with this non flammable and waterproof material if you immerse into the water the water should not the water temperature it will prevent you from uh, horse weather conditions that is the purpose of immersion suit even though if you fully immersed in water the water should not affect you that is the purpose of this immersion suit and it should be unpacked and donned within 2 minutes without any help and assistance so for life jacket you should be donned within 1 minute and for life uh, this immersion suit you should don within 2 minutes so that is the, this is i will let me uh, i already shown in the first slide uh, which we had seen that the immersion suit jump same it should be capable to withhold jump from the height of 4.5 meter should not get torn and jury to personal and jacket also that is the matter and it should cover all body whole body and surface hand shall be covered unless permanently attached gloves are provided okay then what are the accessories the retro reflective tape will be there and same the burning it should sustain 2 seconds of complete fire burning after we wear it must be capable to normal work because once you wear it should be comfortable to work then only you can climb up climb down you, you if you want to enter into life raft life boat it should be like it should not uh, disturb you from activities like that it should they should made that is a solar is saying and it is used in cold weather whether the temperature is below freezing point see when we should use this that is a matter because normal normally while escape from the ship we, we used to only don life jacket so when we use this so we should use prefer to use this the when the water is below freezing point that time we should use this we are this so it will not allow to go down your body temperature for a period of 6 hours immersion in calm water at a temperature between 0 and 2 degrees so it will maintain your body temperature for 6 hours if you maintain a calm if you are in a calm circulating water it will give you a 6 hours thermal protection that is water 
that emotion when when you are in water that time it will give a protection so next one the fifth life saving appliances on board is anti exposure shoot so it's like uh, the anti exposure shoot what is the solar regulation same made up of non flammable material and waterproof material and orange in color and it is highly visible and worn it should be unpacked and done within 2 minutes without any assistance and then jump it should be capable to jump at least at a height of 4.5 meter from the ship and without into the water without injury of person and then also suit also okay covers the whole body exception of the head and hands but administration permits fit so it is equipped with a packet for a portable vhf telephone it is having a packet and has a lateral field of vision of at least 120 degree and after wear it must be capable to work normal work same it should be climb up and down to to swim through the water at least 25 meter to board a survival craft and to be constructed that when on a small the suit continues to provide sufficient thermal protection following one jump into the water we totally submerge the wearer and shall ensure that when it is worn in calm circulating water the temperature of 5 degrees the wearer body's core temperature does not fall at a rate of more than 1.5 degree celsius per hour after the first 0.5 hours okay the person in fresh water wearing either an immersion suit or immersion suit with life jacket shall be able to turn from a face down to a face up position in not more than a 5 seconds and be a stable face up so the sixth life saving appliances on board is thermal protective aids what is thermal protective aid then it will prevent you from thermal thermally that is heat conversion okay so what is the solar regulation for it made non flammable material and waterproof material thermally it will protect you from heat okay thermal protective aid having a thermal conductance of more than 7800 watts shall so be constructed that when used to enclose a person it shall reduce both the convective and evaporative heat loss from the wearer's body it will prevent the heat loss of your body that is a thermal protective aid shall function properly throughout an air temperature between minus 30 to 20 degrees celsius and color as usual it is orange in color that is because of it is highly visible and worn permit the wearer to remove it in the water in not more than 2 minutes if it impairs ability to swim okay covers the whole body of the person of all sizes wearing a life jacket with exception of face hands shall also be covered unless permanently attached to gloves or provider it should be capable of being and can pack and easily don without assistance in a survival craft or a rescue boat so next coming to the pyrotechnics that is distress time distress signaling system which we are showing in previous earlier whatever we have seen that is personal life saving appliances this is a kind of distress life saving appliances on board so if you see this distress this is pyrotechnics what are the stuffs rocket parachute type hand flare type boyan smoke signal so these are all the various pyrotechnics available on board so for this what is the regulation what regulation says what solas says so first we will i will discuss about rocket parachute type rocket parachute it should four per life boat and life raft that should be four number in life boat and four in life raft so the rocket parachute should contain in a water resistant casing this is a water resistant casing 
so it it should have brief instruction or diagrams clearly illustrating the use of rocket parachute it should have a instruction how to operate this that is what it is mentioned and have inter integral means of ignition okay should be designed so design as not to cause discomfort to the person hold the casing because it should not disturb who is holding the casing while using this parachute it should not harm the users that is what and the rocket shall when fired vertically reach an altitude of not less than 300 meter should minimum go 300 meter vertically so it will give a bright red color after operating this this flare will be bright red color but uniformly with an average intensity luminous intensity not less than 30000 candles that is what solas is saying and i have a burning period of not less than 40 seconds it should burn for minimum 40 seconds have a rate of descent not more than 5 meter per second not damage its parachute and husband while burning expiring it will have a made from manufacturing date from the date 3 years it is having expired so this is a rocket parachute type and the other one is the second pyrotechnics on board is hand flares the name itself saying hand so it we can with the hand we have to operate in hand itself so for in lifeboat six and in the lifeboat like raft for foreign going vessels it is life raft for foreign going vessels for short voyage is three pieces only if it is uh, fg life raft of six if it is short going voyage vessels my number is three okay the hand flash it should be contained in water resistant casing and same as like the clearly operation operating instruction should be clearly printed then it should be a self-contained means of ignition it should not discomfort the person who is operating and it is giving a bright red color and with a visibility of 5 to 8 nautical miles after operation it is a burning average luminous intensity is 15,000 candles and burning period is not less than one minute okay this is one and the third kind of pyrotechnics is bion smoke signal bion smoke signal it should be contained in water resistant casing not ignite exposure according to the manufacturer operating instruction uh, briefly it should have clearly instructions for operation it is a it emits smoke of highly visible color at a uniform rate of period of not less than three minutes when floating in calm water it will give you a highly visible color smoke for three minutes okay then it will not emit any flame during the entire smoke emission time only smoke it will give it won't give any flame and continues to emit smoke when submerged in water of period for a 10 and 100 meter of millimeter of water it will emit smoke even though it is immersed in the water of below 100 mm below the water also for a period of 10 seconds then coming to next thing the other stuff is communication stuff this is walkie talkie or two way very high frequency radio telephone so what is the solar requirement for this between 300 to 500 GRT two number must be them above 500 GRT three number of walkie talkie to be carried then it can be continuously transmitting for eight hours and standby for 24 hours duration of walkie talkie working period and channel number 16 for ship to ship channel number six for ship to aircraft so the range of communication five to eight nautical miles up to five to eight nautical miles we can communicate with ship to ship we can communicate ship to aircraft we can communicate with this and same it's be highly visible in color and 
it has one of this one indication waterproof and bion capable of single hand operation so next life saving appliances on board is sat what about sat search and rescue transponder and what is the location and what is the function is there any indication where sat is kept what the search and rescue transponder is the main for ship locating ships in distress or their survival craft see if you if sat is there it is we can carry in hand actually it will be available in bridge so in distress if the ship is going to immerse ship is in distress that time you should carry the sat with your hand take that to your survival craft then if you operate it the nearby vessels the search and search vessels will find you and it should be made up of fiber reinforced plastic and as per solar regulation there should be two numbers required on board this search and rescue transponder and it is self free floating on survival craft and it is highly visible orange in color it is it mounted on a mounting bracket which in turn is fixed into the bulkhead of the ship then short it operating frequency 9 gigahertz frequency band it can be either portable for use on board ship or carrying to survival craft or permanently it may be a portable device or can be permanently fixed on vessel so it is a normal it is actually a distress saving device then epep same epep it's a kind of life saving appliances epep means emergency position radio indicating backup it's a compact by on self contained radio transmitter as per solas one number minimum one number to be carried out as per dg requirement indian vessel minimum two number to be carried so battery storage life of 5 years and weight 2 kg and it is located in the bridge wing with the hrio now coming to the point of hrio what is hrio hydrostatic release unit so if the ship sinks start sinks it is permanently fixed in the bridge wing so if the ship starts sink that time once it um, i am telling about hrio hydrostatic release unit once the ship gone be below 4.5 meter the hrio unit automatically operates this epep that is the purpose of hrio then its operating frequency is 406 megahertz so that is the and gmdss what about gmdss global maritime distress and safety system it will come in solas chapter 5 solas having lot of chapters in that it is comes in the chapter of 5 safety of navigation it is located on bridge gmdss and bridge means in the top of the ship that about the accommodation normally if you noticed and it is mainly communicating system of ship and all external communication through world is done by gmdss it can be operated by master or officer in charge you who are the duty officer that is what then there are three sets of gmdss on board by using this we can mail the person and the satellite call we can do so this is the most important one we can do a mail and then satellite call also so next coming to the point general life saving appliances what is general life saving appliances that is first one is line throwing appliances what is the purpose of line throwing appliances see if you see the diagram it will be contained like this and if you look this diagram how they are operating this is sort of lsa this is a lta this is the this is line throwing appliances is that this line is getting thrown to the other ship 
Unseal the cover. How to open? Unseal the cover. Tie up the clear end of the line to any ship structure. This is the tie up. Unscrew the plug. Screw in the ignition cartridge. Set up the sharing pin into the cocked position. Turn up 90 degree. Set up the launching angle of the unit between 20 and 30 up to horizon. Take out the share pin. The rocket will start in 4 to 10 seconds. Don't aim on pin. This is what a operating procedure of line throwing appliances. Why line throwing appliances is needed? In case in emergency, if you want to give that uh, saving life saving line to other next ship, how will you throw? It cannot. We cannot throw so much. That's why line throwing appliances are there provided. So we'll be explaining about line throwing apparatus and how much length it should cover and location of it. And before that, as per solas, there should be one pieces should be kept on. So it should include not less than four projectiles each capable of carrying the line at least 230 meter. It should throw minimum length of 213 meter in calm weather. So direction of this yellow color cylinder is exploded in direction of wind at the angle of 45 degree to achieve maximum projectile path. It is location is it is kept on bridge and safety pin is provided to prevent accidental release of rope because the humans will tend to do error that's why they are provided with accidental release safety pin. Okay. Then Coming to next one, breathing apparatus. This is the most important uh, devices on board. That is AEBD and what is the location and we will see about what is the minimum requirement on board and how will you operate. AEBD is emergency escape breathing device. And what is the purpose? Why it is given? Emergency, from the name itself we can find emergency. In the emergency time, we should use this for only for escaping purpose. We, it will give a maximum life of 15 minutes. Okay. After that it won't give. It, just the oxygen it won't give. So, if you are in distress, if you are in a bottom platform, an access platform, wear it, run away from the place. Don't use this EEBD for fighting the fire. That is the most important differentiation between EEBD and SCABA. Next we will come to SCABA also. And before that, how many as per solas, how many should be there on cargo ship in accommodation minimum two and one spare should be there in accommodation that is. And one in ECR and one in workshop and one at each deck or platform one. It should be ready for use and easily visible and this is see this is the AVD how he is wearing this like this we have to wear. AVD is located in easily visible areas of missionary space mostly in the engine control room workshop and near escape rooms. What are the things it carry? Cylinder, hood and face piece, clear window, pressure indicator. See it shall have a service duration of at least 10 minutes. That's why you should run, you should wear this and run away for escaping only this is the device not for other than that. What are the maintenance? Check indicator needle that is in the green. If you open this, you can find out. And uh, keep the device clean and then check the record expiry dates. Typically, e EBD is valid for 15 years. That is for this equipment. And you should see the green zone and then recharge it accordingly. Do not open EBD. Use training piece for training purpose. That's it. So this is what. Then we will come to, then we will see about SCABA. SCABA, what is SCABA? Self-contained breathing apparatus. So here the purpose is different. You can enter with this. This is duration is 30 minutes. So you can wear this and enter if you want to en enter into enclosed space. After the fire is put out, you can enter. So um, after 20 minutes, it will give an alarm. After you, when you hear the alarm, just move away from the place, escape, save your life. 
so this is self contained breathing apparatus this is the life saving device so that self contained breathing apparatus consists of two cylinders and harness and respiratory system the face mask and it will be attached to the demand valve which maintain positive pressure inside the the face so the cylinder contains 1240 liters of free air to give approximately 31 minutes of full air usage 20 minute 21 minutes of working duration under normal circumstances that is what i said earlier so when approximately 10 minutes of air left warning whistle sound will be there you should escape you should utilize the 10 minutes for escaping purpose not for the fighting the fire rescuing the person you are like this more precious and alarm testing open the cylinder wall line will be pressurized 200 bar pressure gauge indicates 200 bar close the cylinder wall check the pressure should not drop 10 bar in a minute now to make alarm test operate demand valve and pressure will start coming from the high pressure line it will indicate that now we have only 8 to 10 minutes for escape as soon as you have sound escape from the cabin this is what i say then maintenance of face mask cleaning disinfecting drying and visual inspection this is normally we will carry on board and life raft so life raft as per solas regulation the inflatable life raft contain inflatable cylinder which contain co2 gas with small amount of nitrogen which acts as a anti freeze and non corrosive and non flammable for the purpose we are using nitrogen small possibility only small possibility can be in capable of inflate by one person by single person also we can inflate and it will be in life raft it will be contained in the life uh, container and if you see this is the life raft once it is inflated like this it is secured and if it is inflated it will come like this so operating procedure how will you operate this say minimum carrying capacity 6% location of ship in forward 6 in embarkation station next to life boat there are two will be there 16% it can accommodate so how to operate this life raft first of all unless this lashings then the painter line pull up the painter line up to certain meters and then tie it to the strongest point then remove the seno slip and then see check for the sea side and then if the if it is everything is clear put the embarkation ladder and then throw the life raft and then it once it goes just pull up the painter it will pierce the oxygen cylinder it will inflate the raft and then check for the sea side and then safely embark into that with the embarkation ladder into the life boat life raft sir see what say this is the painter line this is lashings this is hru unit breaking strength of the painter and what are the things equipment present on life raft is sponges buoyant paddles hand flares rocket parachute smoke signal say pip sat food ration daylight signaling lab radar reflector which we had mentioned earlier so this is the see once if the ship is sinking then how it will release hru will come into point once it reaches after 4.5 meter hru will uh, unit will cut the lashings it will the lashings will get open and then it will painter line will get come 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 up come up come up come up, come up, come up. then once it goes down below 4.5 meter it will inflate same like manually how we did automatically it will inflate so this is the hru unit and like what life boat there are three types um long david launched life boat and then gravity for life boat and life boat itself three type what i am saying is fully open type semi enclosed type fully enclosed type normally nowadays fully enclosed type closed life boat everywhere and then free for life boat also present in most of the ships so what is the solar regulation it should be have a manufacturer name address like board model and serial number month and year of manufacture number of persons approved to carry so if you see
how to operate uh, like a life boat see preparation initial preparation ensure the harbor pins are removed disconnect the electrical cable close the drain plug place equipment sort in boat board when instructed as and fasten seat belt then launch access release gripes securing wires same secure the hatches if it in a safe atmosphere open vents if it is a dangerous atmosphere close the vents and suitable life jackets are to be worn by the boat screw lower to water check what clear water below operate the brake release boat may swing during launch keep lowering boat at a steady rate see like this it go now entering water see how it enter the water allow boat to settle in the water keep brake off release falls if falls do not disengage operate emergency release as follows break the glass inside there is a emergency release break the glass move the lever to green zone release falls this is falls it will get released then start the engine if it is dangerous atmosphere open air supply and water supply walls spray walls release painter when ready steer away from the ship rescue from rescue any shipping surveyors it is safe to do when clear of vessel stream sea anchors operate every bunch on so that is the thing so the other one is free for life boat normally the david life boat is like it is it will be hinged the free for life boat is very free to operate it will once you remove the safety mechanism it will directly go into the water it's not like uh, operating with uh, an emergency brake or all it will directly go into it so what is all the kind of ships will be carrying this this is more swifter in action and we had seen almost all the life saving appliances on board and and its importance why it is uh, required on board and then what are all the various categories we had seen so far and how much uh, spare solar requirement how much minimum it should be there and then what is the location everything we have seen in the detailed manner i hope this session will help for the new learners especially uh, as well the all the the earlier learners also so it will be useful for them i hope so and thank